If you think water, earth, fire and air are not enough to craft anything that you've ever dreamed of, you have not heard of Infinite Craft. The game that has taken the internet by storm lets you explore an infinite world of crafting and the concept is really simple. You start with the four elements and just drag and drop them onto each other. And if you find the right ones, it will magically craft a new resource for you. Every resource opens an entirely new world of opportunity. Due to the popularity of Infinite Craft, people even started speedrunning it and even wrote scripts to add new functionality to the game. But while the crafting might be infinite, modding and extending the game is not at all due to the game being closed source. The base concept of Infinite Craft is genius though and I would love to see it grow way beyond that. Imagine native multiplayer support, crafting with more than two resources or custom speedrunning modes. And that is why I decided to build OpenCraft, an open source version of the game that can be used as a basis to build upon it. Being open source, it will allow anyone who wants to fork it and improve it in their own way. But how does Infinite Craft even work? When you combine two resources in Infinite Craft, it uses an AI model to create a new resource based on the two resources you just dropped onto each other. While we do not know exactly how the model works, we know that it is based on Llama, an open source large language model made by Meta. Large language models, also known as LLMs, gained popularity in recent years, most notably through ChatGPT. But there are many open source alternatives available today. Most notably, Llama, which is created by Meta, and Mistral AI, a French company that recently raised $450 million in funding. So essentially, the infinite craft magic is asking an AI chatbot what happens if you combine fire and water, and uses the answer of the chatbot to create a new resource. Now that we have a basic understanding of what has to happen, we can actually start building our own open source infinite craft clone. I'll use Vue, the frontend framework of my choice, to build the frontend and manage the state of all resources. As we have a lot of dragging and dropping action going on, we'll use the Vue D&D library to help with that. It can be used to define the resources that can be dragged and the areas where they can be dropped. Also. I might have broke my entire setup at some point and had to redo it all again because I was just too stupid to figure out what actually caused the error in the first place. But two setups later, we can actually start designing the application interface. On the right, there will be a resource section with all the resources that we have already explored, starting with the four elements. Water. Earth. Fire. Using the Vue D&D library, we can define the entire left side as a drop area and our resources as draggable items, which allows us to move them around on our canvas. Now we just have to allow dragging and dropping from our resources on the right as well. And because my lazy ass hardcoded the fire resource somewhere, everything is just fire now. Let me fix that and make sure that we can actually use all of our resources. The last and most important drag and drop action is dragging one resource onto another one. So we can actually craft a new resource. Let's add a few more lines of code and when we drop them onto each other, they'll be sent into the void, which is not quite what we want, but now we actually have to get our AI involved. So we don't have to run the large language model in everyone's browser, we'll run a simple API which just takes the two resources and returns the new one. And it also allows us to cache the results, save power and ultimately destroy our planet just a little bit less. Dealing with large language models is all about finding the correct model to use and asking it in the right way, which is also called prompting. I spent way too long trying to find the right model and crashed my computer multiple times in the process because my setup just couldn't handle some of the bigger models. But in the end I found a prompt that worked decently enough with one of the Mistral AI models. While Infinite Craft itself uses Meta's Llama 2 model, my results with the model were pretty disappointing. Which makes me think they either run a custom model based on Llama 2 or I'm just really bad at prompt engineering. 
The prompt I ended up with is basically just asking for a combination of the two words, followed by instructions to not include the original words in the new word, over and over again, because the AI model really likes to be lazy and just concat the words and call it a day. Now the API is ready to return our new word. And we can also use the same model to generate an appropriate emoji that can be displayed next to the word. Going back to our interface, instead of just sending our two resources into the void, we can now insert the new AI generated resource into our crafting area and open up so many new possibilities with every new resource. And we can start crafting to our heart's content, combining the elements into all the things that we ever dreamed of. And of course, OpenCraft stores all your explored resources in the local storage of your browser, so you can come back any day to continue your crafting. As promised in the beginning, the source code for OpenCraft can be found on GitHub. If you want to contribute or fork the project, you can find the link in the description down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.